I've already said that South Africa has the highest intimate femicide rate in the world, which means we have the highest rate of a current or former partner murdering their current or former partner in the entire world. Now, it's very important to understand what kinds of factors in a situation of IPV are linked to a higher risk of homicide, because not every situation of IPV is going to confer a risk of homicide. So what are the things that do make it very risky and likely that a homicide may occur? Well, there's no getting away from it. Alcohol, in fact, any substances uh, confers a very high risk of intimate femicide because it removes the very last inhibition to perpetration of violence. So that is a pretty obvious one. And we're going to move this guy up here and just he can be the headline because that's how important it is. Then, any previous attempted choking or strangulation uh, confers a much higher risk of uh, homicide at the end of the day. So that is something that is really, really important not to ignore. I've already told you that stalking, he has our leopard stalking in the wild, but I've told you that stalking by a perpetrator of a victim in a situation of IPV confers a, a much higher risk of homicide as well. Then, obsessive jealousy. Um, when there is absolute uh, jealous and controlling behavior that can and has turned violent, um, that kind of obsessive jealousy confers a higher risk of a domestic homicide. Then, threats of harm or homicide or threats of using a weapon are both associated with a higher risk of the partner being murdered by the perpetrator. Uh, any access to an actual weapon, especially a gun, um, confers a much higher risk. Um, this is often why abusers who are uh, police or military are such loose cannons because they have easy access to a weapon in the situation where they are perpetrating um, intimate partner violence. And the last thing that confers of these main issues that confer a high risk of intimate femicide, and I've spoken about this in one of the other videos as well, is when there is rape within the context of that relationship, because that is a very violent act. And it is just uh, an indication of what it is possible that the perpetrator might end up doing um, if they could be that violent um, in the relationship. So these are just some of the factors. Let's lay them all out so that everybody has a visual to remember. So we've got our alcohol or any substances. We've got our history of strangulation or choking. We've got a history of previous or current stalking. We've got obsessive jealousy, and that goes very much with obsessive controlling behavior. We've got verbal threats to commit serious harm or kill. We've got access to weapons, particularly a gun, but not just a gun, anything that is um, an object that could be used to cause harm. It could be a lampshade, it could be anything like that, but particularly a gun. And then where there has been rape within the context of a relationship. Those are the features that confer a particularly high risk of that victim being murdered by their partner.